What's going on guys? Good morning. Thank you all for tuning back for another video on my channel. I appreciate it. We are going to have an absolutely awesome and very fun day today on the vlog. As you guys can see here, we towed the Minimax down to our home away from home. At least it feels that way. Cecil County Dragway for a private track rental today. My friend Cody right there. You guys might remember him if you watched the call out video from the beginning of this year at this exact location. He was coaching me through racing my C6 Z06 at the time. I'll throw that clip in here right now. to rent out this track because he is in the armed forces and he just got back from a deployment. So Cody, thank you very much for your services and anybody else that is out serving for the greater good of the United States. I just want to say thank you guys very much while we're on that topic. But Cody's a great friend of mine. I met him through my good friends at Race Proven Motorsports, which were the individuals that built my C6 Z06 when I had it. A little bit of nostalgia seeing his car out here today. Should run a pretty good time. But today is our opportunity to see how the Minimax does with its built transmission from diesels Unlimited. Now, Diesels Unlimited is from Elkton, Maryland, and they're just quite literally around the corner, which is great. So, the big truck towed really, really well. As you guys can see, I think I need some helper bags in the rear just to kind of offset some of the sag of the weight. Now, this trailer is very nice. This is from our good friends at LRA. Sam, thank you for letting me borrow your trailer. This thing is actually extremely smooth cruising down the highway, and the big truck pulls it well. I get asked that question all the time on whether or not the 14 wides tow well, and I can tell you that they absolutely do. I hope that we get some good times for the truck today. I don't really know exactly what my objectives are, but last time I was here, they closed it. We ran an eighth mile. Best time for that truck on tune three from Unleashed Duramax tuning on the stock trans was an 8.2 with a 1860 foot. Now, if you convert that to a quarter mile, it's roughly a 12.8, like a 12.75. So if we can kind of cut down that number just a little bit more, I'm going to be very happy. But today is really just about getting more familiarized with the now more capable truck with that built transmission. It's gonna make a tremendous amount of difference in making sure that we carry down a good amount of consistency at the track.
dude, so we just passed inspection. Obviously, not a problem. They're probably looking at me like, this dude's driving a farm truck. It's filthy, too. Check this out. The wife was out in it the other day, and I figured, why clean it up if, you know, it's a farm truck amongst all these really nice street cars? You know, guys, I just didn't have time to wash it. That's really the only reason. I'd leave it off, you know, weight savings. That's what it's all about. Final double duty. Thanks, buddy. Double duty. It's all for the subscribers. <laughs> Alright guys, so the first run is merely going to be just a mild boosted launch to try and fill out the new setup. So first run of the day, we ran a 12, 8, 1, 9, 60 foot, almost a 2.0. Uh, I want to say that I would launch around eight pounds, if I'm not mistaken, maybe up that just a little bit. It's shifting great, which is good, and it didn't go in the limp mode, so I'd say that we are off to a great start. we get like three quarters of the way down the track the truck is just maxing out uh that time we hopped real bad off the line it wasn't smooth probably too much boost it was like 12 pounds so maybe we'll dial that back a little bit the 2189 60 foot ran at 12 8 3 at 104 now trap speed was about six miles an hour higher than my last run so if we can just marry these two together, it'll be a pretty good combination. I think that's where this setup is really gonna be pretty much tapped out. All right guys, so I just got off with Unleashed Duramax Tuning. Blake is the owner. We call back and forth to one another all the time, which is why I really love working with him. Um, not really sure exactly what's going on with the Minimax, but if I had to explain what the characteristic of the occurrence is, it's basically, it's, it feels like it's surging, like hitting a, a fuel brake, or um, I don't know, I thought it was limited by gearing, that's what I had mentioned earlier, but again, I'm new to this, so I'm kind of learning as we go. Uh, Blake said it could be a, a few things, it could be losing fuel because of a mass airflow issue, uh, or the governor could be on. Uh, he was like 300% certain that he turned it off, and unfortunately, I don't have the auto cal today to log it to get an idea as to actually what is occurring uh, but there are a few things that we're going to try to see if we can diagnose what the issue is if the truck begins to sputter again as i'm sure it's going to i'm going to let off the throttle and then get right back in the throttle to maybe trick the bass airflow sensor eight pound boosted launch mark i think this truck is capable of like one six sixty foots but with a 20 by 12 and 420s that is definitely not the ideal setup to get down to that range so if i can get into like the one eights that again that'd be cool every one pound of rotating mass on your wheel tire setup is roughly six pounds of static weight in your bed. So just to recap Blake's suggestion here, we have desired fuel rail pressure versus actual fuel rail pressure. We've got this thing tuned. The high pressure fuel rail system is about 28,000 pounds, I believe. So we should see actual fuel rail pressure coming in around 26 to 27,000. Desired is gonna show kind of that benchmark of where we should be versus where we actually are. If we're running in the fuel cut issues, that's going to drop when the desired is staying where it needs to be. So I'll get you guys mounted up with a GoPro a little bit closer and we'll see what we do this time.
wrap it up just a little bit early. It's obvious that we're running into some calibration issues with the truck. And maybe I shouldn't necessarily say calibration issues because it actually feels really strong. I mean, shifting through all five gears this time successfully is a great accomplishment. The overall capability of the transmission, which is good, we're taking steps in the right direction, but something's going on. And it's probably worth noting that the truck was actually doing this when it was on tune three the last time I was down at Cecil County as well. I really didn't think anything of it. I thought maybe it was attributed to the transmission just slipping or just maybe not being too content with the power that we were throwing at it. But come to find out, it's something a little bit bigger than that. So, but it looked like the desired and the actual fuel rail pressure were pretty in a line. They were running in parallel with one another, which is a good sign. So at least we're maintaining that rail pressure. The truck does have a PPE race plug in it as well. So of our three theories, we've got one relatively valid Validated. The other two consist of, is there a governor that's limiting this speedometer or is something going on with the mass airflow sensor? And from a few of the individuals that I've talked to at the track, they had mentioned that it could be something with the mass airflow sensor. I don't really know exactly the technicalities behind that. But other than that, the truck ran great. So my idea here with the Minimax guys is to show you the progression of tuned stock trans, tuned built trans, then we're gonna work out some of the kinks in the tune. We'll see how it does. Then of course, we're gonna go with the bigger turbo and the injectors and all of that to see what we can whittle down in the times. Hopefully a different wheel and tire setup, but I don't really wanna go anything further than that. I'm not looking to build a full on race truck. It's gonna be a street truck. So I'm not really gonna to get too crazy with the suspension, but we're gonna see what we can get it down to. And I think it's gonna be a pretty fun build. The last thing I wanted to mention with you guys right now is that yes, we do have the LBZ on the channel. I'm. I was getting a bazillion questions about when that giveaway is gonna start, and I'm not going to announce that just yet, but I will let you guys know that, trust me, I'm going to blast the ever-living crap out of that announcement when that time comes. It's just kinda hectic right now with the holidays. I've got a lot going on with my family. I know you guys probably have a lot going on with all of your families. It's a very critical time of the season. So if you guys haven't already, please tap that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next upload. Later.